So let's check in <laughs> with our hall. local Atlanta affiliate, WSB TV news reporter Richard Elliott is standing. Oh, by. great! Good morning. Good morning. Look at this, Good morning. Richard, looking dignified and treating this with the reverence it deserves. <laughs> Pre election. I'm inside day. the Georgia State Capitol. I have to. Oh, my goodness. Oh, any activity going on down there in Georgia? Uh, lots of activity. <laughs> We're uh, a day away from election day, so yeah. everyone is out campaigning today, and I am out everywhere covering it. Well, thank you for squeezing us in. Now, what can you tell us about uh, <laughs> fall in Atlanta? We're not going to talk politics because Gelman gets upset when we do. So tell us about the fall. <laughs> <laughs> And I think a lot of people who've been covering politics for the past few months are pretty happy to talk about something else, too. Yeah. Um, 70 degrees, it's foggy, it wants to rain, but it's not raining yet. Pretty humid outside. It's kind of a fall in Georgia. So what do you love most about Atlanta, for example? I am a rarity. I am a native Atlantan. I wow. was born, Ryan, you know the, the, the phrase, I was born ITP and I live ITP. Ryan is OTP. Oh, he can yes. explain that. Um, can you I love explain? the city. Can you uh, I love everything about it. I do it. remember. Wait, wait, remind me what the I, I and the O stand for? Ryan, you know, Ryan went Just, Hollywood long ago, I, I, Richard. <laughs> can you remind me the I and the O inside or outside the perimeter? The perimeter. Okay. So there's a perimeter, there's an interstate that circles 285. Atlanta, 285. You're either OT ITP inside OTP. the perimeter or you're OTP outside the so perimeter. And where does the perimeter mall fall it, within OTP. that OTP? Just OTP. Okay. Just OTP, OTP, but only by about 40 feet. Oh. Yeah, and then what about the food scene there? What do you like? I have my view. What do you like, Richard? Well, so I cover politics, so I'm going to put a little political spin on this, not right. to make Gallman upset. Um, Ryan, you know this one place in Midtown, across the interstate from Georgia Tech, the Varsity. Oh, yes. Where you go to get uh, hamburgers, chili dogs, frosted orange. Every politician, national politician that comes to Atlanta goes in politics at the Varsity. Nikki Haley was here just last month. Uh, I've seen uh, former President uh, George W. Bush campaigning there. The other one is Manuel's Tavern. It's out in uh, Virginia Highland neighborhood. Uh, was a big Democratic hangout back in the day and uh, former President Barack Obama stopped by there not long ago, had a beer and a burger. Richard, if I may go back for a second, what's a frosted orange? It's like an, it's what you think it's going to be. So, it's creamy orange, yes. Oh my God. It is, it's exactly what it you is got excited about. It is a brain about. freeze maker. I can't <laughs> drink them because I always get brain freeze, but they're delicious. Uh, I can tell you how to cure that. You press your tongue against the roof of your own mouth and that will get rid of your brain freeze. I know, as somebody who can, I slurp down cold <laughs> beverages very quickly and suffer brain freeze myself a lot. So uh, back to election day, how are things looking there? What can you tell us? <laughs> well, the two big races here that everyone is looking at, of course, is the governor's race between the incumbent Republican Brian Kemp and the Democratic challenger Stacey Abrams. And the other one is the, is the Senate race, the race for U.S. Senate. That's the one that has the big national implications. Uh, Democratic incumbent Senator Raphael Warnock versus uh, the Republican challenger, Herschel Walker. And those are the, really the ones that everyone is... A few of those commercials ran about. over the weekend while I was in Atlanta there during the University of Georgia football game. Richard, great to see you. Thank you for checking in from WSB Channel 2, home of Monica Kaufman Good when I was dogs. growing up, Sandra Bookman, who's here now. That was like, that was the station. That is well, the station. We really appreciate it, Richard. Just Thank you. The two on Thanks the for taking time out of your busy schedule to squeeze us in. <laughs>